Hello everybody, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. Now, we just found a kid brother, and we just got kicked out of a church, so... Now we have to decide whether to get up or do nothing. So, if we fought back this last time, and it worked out okay, let's see what happens when we do it this time. Or should we do nothing? Oh, I only had to move the damn house. Okay. We're gonna do nothing. See if maybe that will show Daniel, Daniel! anything. Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. Oh, shit. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just... Just want my brother. My brother. But he doesn't want you. Yeah, it's because of you here. guys. This is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Uh, uh, Daniel. Sean. Oh shit, is that their Daniel, mom? Get him back like this. Let's go. Oh shit, that's his mom. What? I got all kinds of questions now. All kinds. Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. We should have talked a long time ago. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Who is Jacob? I can't remember who this Jacob person is. Uh, good hot shower. Yeah. That's a broken rib. Had a couple of those myself. I don't think you're supposed to get your eye patch wet. All right, any day now. But another awkward shower scene man okay didn't clean the pain away but that felt good damn 
You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. So I wonder if we're fixing to get some answers. Get out. <laughs> She's not even here! Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's? I know I shouldn't peek, but whatever. Now what I wanted to look at was the keychain. Kinda pretty. Okay. I wonder if she made it. I thought might be it might be. I thought maybe it could have been something like related to the kids. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing sore. I remember, know the feeling, there's no fighting back, that beating, tearing apart my core. Er early morning blues, coffee, red eye, truckers, and sad families, bad eggs. Not the waitress's fault, she is a quick hurried one, probably ending a long night shift. Tag says Clementine, 22-ish, red head dyed brunette, eyebrows and skin tone don't lie, Irish descent, owner's daughters, maybe Mahoney's, vague, light smile, busy mind, Maud the clumsy, looks distracted, anxious, young cook called her Clemmy, brother, boyfriend, boyfriend, apologizes when the orders are late and she's the one getting roasted, do mom and dad know you're dating on the job, Clemmy? Mixing up work and love seldom make a good match. It's a brand new baby bump under the stained apron. It's 2017 and young folks are so busy making babies. I guess nothing ever really changes. Okay. Then there's like a condom hidden. Glad right to know here. she learned the lesson. Yeah, right. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Yeah, because she could have been in the audience and he wouldn't have known who she was. That, that's right, that's right. This country is just way too big. It really is. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Got bruises on I'm my bruises? A long, long way, buddy. Ah, there's a note. Be right back. <laughs> we'll find out. Is that her dip for? Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number's on the letter he sent. Be right back, Karen. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Dear Mrs. Diaz, my name is Jacob and I worked with your son Sean and Daniel on a farm in California. Okay. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number, 775-555-0118. Please hurry. Thank you, Jacob. Okay, so that's why she left the phone. And tablet. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Struggles with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing slash geolocate. Password is 112708. Hope you find your son. Okay, so 112708. Yay! Technology. She came prepared.
is a lot of reading. I'm just going to kind of skim it. It's just talking about the church and what all you can get there. Next. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. A Slice of Haven Point by Robert Neal. One of the great mysteries of Nevada is how it balances the Holy Spirit with the Holy Dollar. Futurers travel from around the world to seek religion here, but in the tight-knit Christian community of Haven Point, Nevada, a charismatic pastor has inspired a devout following. As she told me in an interview at her peaceful church office, Reverend Peaceful Church Office, that just sounds really weird to word it that way. Reverend Elizabeth Fisher has spent her whole life as a humble disciple of the Lord, feeling the call to share his love and glory in this dark age. I had a powerful experience as a child that put me on the righteous path. She smiles gently and touches my hand. But this is not about me or my story or anybody in our wonderful church can tell you. As anybody in our wonderful church can tell you. And tell me they did. The members of the Universal Uprising Church speak with hushed awe of their pastor and how she inspires them. Reverend Fisher just wants to share her blessings with us, says Corey Johnson, 34, a recent addition to the congregation. I was pretty cynical before I went to one of her revivals. You could feel the electricity when she smoke. spoke. People were crying, including me. Okay. Looks like a roach motel. But... Nobody will find me there. Cheap Motel, Haven Point, Nevada. <laughs> Ratings is a two star. Beds are super uncomfortable, but it's cheap. Nice pool, but dusty as fuck. <laughs> nice roadside motel. Cool staff. Well, alright. Open the drawer. Oh, I thought I picked drawer. My bad. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. So is he a part of this church? Is that like his way of protecting Daniel? Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Okay. Drawer is what I meant to do the first time. Casino token. After what happened with Finn, I should never gamble again. Yeah. That, that's good advice. We're going to listen to him on that one. Alright. Wait for Karen. I guess we'll wait for Karen. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Well, what's all of her stuff is there, but that's never stopped me before, so. Hey, sorry it took so long. Fucking store was packed. I had a feeling? flashback to one of my other games. Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. I say, you can be mad at her, but who are you going to turn down food right now? You're starving to death. Got you some gauze, 
and uh, antibacterial stuff for your eye. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. Ha! <laughs> called it. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. So, ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. That's After true. I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. It felt like an empty shell. Sean. It was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend, uh, Jacob, wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah. Okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life, and I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. We're just gonna leave it like I know that. you are, Karen. That still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Yeah. 
that was heavy. That that was really heavy. It's like a lot to take in. Right, how, how would you process that? Especially by yourself. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? Honestly, I didn't feel anything. I just kind of deleted you. And nobody would blame you. Not me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School job, marriage, asked my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world. With like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. Well, that's your loss. I don't expect you to believe me. But I mean it. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... 
care less. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. But do we really need her help though? That, that's the question. Yeah, at least she can just give you a fucking cigarette. Hey, um, mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. Mm. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. Oh man, Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. <laughs> Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down Esteban would come over and ask for a drag and I would just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes I do miss that I used to do the same with my best friend Lila sitting on the porch just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. Think of my wife. I can do that with her. We should go back just inside. Sit there and be. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Enjoy the Let's moment. Go. I was gonna say, she said let's go, but then he was the only one that came into the room. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I... I, I guess I'm I know. Say I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Dan. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. The walkie-talkie? Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? No. 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 I got this. So... That was probably an important thing. I should have said yes. Story here? Not really. Try this on. The fuck was that? Oh, it was an iPad. <laughs> I don't know what I thought it was. Just want to see his eye. Can we see the eye? Come on. How do I look? Great. Thanks. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel.
That was a heavy episode. Oh, don't do this shit. I'm, all, I'm like out of time. Hold on. It's just gonna go right into it, ain't it? it looks like a postcard. You sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap this guy's bird. been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Don't you start by punching yourself yeah. in the face. Good thing we got Shut some new amazing people too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? I always wanted to have a life like that. Yeah, cool. He's a cool little kid. I just didn't want him to grow up so fast. It's good you were there for him. Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. He looks so badass in his eye patch. Sean! What happened? What were you thinking, Jake? I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these Wait, sirens. Wait, is he a part of the church? Like I got scared. I just, I packed a few things. I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Eh, that's you not did your right, cash. Jake. I mean, Thank he got your little brother out of there. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. So, you came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy, and everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. And it's his yeah, mom, the preacher. Took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Oh. Except they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The she Reverend ain't knows let him go how easily. to manipulate people. She's good at this. Yep. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Oh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. But too bad. Just saw a black swarm not in the ask corner. For permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? 
Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. Then he'll kidnap him. I know him. It's like, boy, get your ass in this car right now. Well, maybe break out the damn boot. Oh, I was like, what's he gonna do? Run? Like, ram into the front end of her car? Truck? I don't know what the fuck she did. Okay, is this gonna give me a stopping spot now? I seriously doubt it. This last episode's been playing like movies instead of a video game. Karen? Anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah. Okay. Of now let's give him a stopping point. Let's get this over with. Okay. Okay. I am all out of time, way beyond all of time. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see if we can kidnap these two kids in the next episode. So thank you guys so very much for watching. See you guys next video. Bye bye.